What if one day you were walking down the street and found an abandoned building, and inside that abandoned building was a door in the middle of a room, no walls anywhere near it. And when you opened that doorknob, it led into another dimension of horror. Let's get into it. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a movie that's coming to you very soon on August 23rd called Hostile Dimensions. And it's a UK production, a found footage UK production, horrific, wild, about parallel dimensional doorways and opening to places that you would never expect. Now, this is a very indie indie film, and it's trying to do a lot with a very, very little budget. So, you know, we're not talking a huge budget, and it's a feature film. You know, it's not a mainstream movie. It's it's a little rough around the edges when it comes to it. But if you love the idea of walking through doorways to go in through dimensions in a found footage movie with horror and a lot of entertainment, then this is the movie for you. Essentially, the movie is about two documentary filmmakers who travel through an alternative dimension to uncover the truth about a graffiti artist who has completely vanished. Now, these two documentarians are just kind of doing something different to kind of go for it, and they start to investigate. So it's kind of a docu-found footage movie. You know, it's a modern found footage film with a lot of really creative and unique things about it that make it really fun and very interesting. There were some moments in this film that really kind of creeped me out, and they do a really good job of doing that on a very lo-fi level with barely any money. There is a lot of creativity activity put into this that I think a lot of people will appreciate. And I'm only saying that because some movies, even if they don't have much money, can do a lot. And this is one of those films, one that you should check out and see for yourself. I'm a huge fan of dimensions, doorways, horror. Add that into a found footage movie and you got a like pretty badass idea. In fact, I wish that the director of this movie, Graham Hughes, by the way, could get more money to make an even bigger movie. Now, the characters in this movie, I was definitely on board. I'm very picky when it comes to watching found footage movies. Like, there's a certain level of suspension of disbelief that I can get to before it breaks and then I'm just kind of not into the movie. But this one, I didn't really have any problems with at all. Some of the doors and places that they go into, you're gonna want more. Guaranteed, you're gonna want more from this movie when you see it. So I think a lot of people are going to be like, I really wanted to see a lot more, but they do so much with so little, like I've been saying. And it's a really entertaining watch. Like some of the characters, the two main ones that are in it, they introduce another character later on, are pretty good together. It's these two women, and then they go to research and, and someone else tags along. And then the story kind of opens up. I don't think it's like the scariest film I've seen all year. There is horror elements in it, but it is also kind of just bewilderment of where they're going, like the unknown and what's the next door going to be leading to. There are a couple of surprises in it and there are some moments where they're not doing going through doors every five seconds. And that may make some people a little impatient but just hang in there. The goods are coming. There are some good stuff in here. They are going to some wild, weird, and wacky places. So Graham Greene, by the way, is a director that did the movie Death of a Vlogger. So if you've ever seen that movie, it didn't do as well as I think this one's going to do. But there is definitely talent there. When I saw this trailer, I was like ready to go. Even out of everything, say that this is a 7 out of 10 idea. And for what they did on the budget is a huge success. It's something that I think will inspire a lot of people. And it definitely makes me want to see more. The only real gripes I had is that some of the dialogue could have been sharpened up and kind of gone over a couple of more times. And I just wanted to see more. But... It's easy to be pretty greedy about wanting to see more dimensions, and when you have a limited budget, you can only do so much. I'm hoping this does really well, and we get a much bigger budget so that Graham can really do <laughs> the feature that either that he wants, or continue the story, or do, uh, you know, an Evil Dead 2 of 
hostile dimensions, if you will. The movie's coming to select theaters, so check your listings, and on digital on the 23rd, so if you want to check it out in the theater, go support this film because we need to see more indie films in the theater. I think that would be infinitely better for everyone, really, truly. It just gives us so many options to check out so many different movies instead of waiting or just jumping into the digital space. I love the digital space because I get to see all kinds of stuff that way. But yeah, some movies need the support and we should support them. And this is definitely one of them. But thank you so much to everybody involved. I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. Keep an eye out for it if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I got a lot of stuff coming out from Fright Fest that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a lot of stuff, so just check back because YouTube is screwing me on the algorithm on these <laughs> because I've been pumping out too many. I think YouTube doesn't know what to do with it. Thanks for coming by, guys, and as always, long live the void. 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 void.